Good morning. My name is Pixie Seymour and I'm the author of the Black Seed Oil Master Guide. And as you may be able to tell, I've improved the microphone situation and now I have a real one. So let's dive in and have our reading for today, which will be from Chapter 10, Drug Withdrawal and Brain Rewiring. Withdrawal from any substance is a hard slog. Not only are you dealing with the mental stress of changing habits, you are also having major negative physical symptoms too. If you are experiencing withdrawal from substances, I'm really sorry and I hope you get to feeling better ASAP. I believe black seed oil can help you through this process. Take hard street drugs for even a short length of time and you are going to develop a problem that you will need to go through a withdrawal process from. Many pharmaceutical drugs will also require a withdrawal period, which doctors recommending the step-down approach to stopping drugs. Street drug users are usually expected to withdraw from their addictions cold turkey style. If either of those scenarios describe you or someone you love, then keep reading to find out how black seed oil can aid the process. Remember to take it easy on yourself and be kind to you during this process. Yes, it's a process just like any other. It has a beginning, a middle and an end, with bragging rights after that. So a big good luck from me to you. <clears throat> if you're having dreadful withdrawal symptoms, you might want to get your hands on some black human oil quickly. There are many different compounds in this oil that help many systems in the body. Black seed oil will also lessen your symptoms of withdrawal. And here's some of the research quotes. Based on these results, it can be concluded that thymoquinone, which is the volatile compound, one of the volatile compounds in black seed oil, prevents the development of tolerance and dependence to morphine. The references are all listed directly below the quotes. Next quote. Nigella sativa extract <clears throat> affects conditioned place preferences induced by morphine in rats meaning the black seed extract lessened the pain of withdrawal. Also revealed that most of the theoretic properties of this plant are due to the presence of thymoquinone, which is a major bioactive component of the essential oil. And there's the other reference there. Black seed oil for alcohol poisoning. A study published in 2014 showed that black seed oil reduced oxidative stress from alcohol poisoning in mice. This study showed that NSO may have protective effects against hepatotoxicity and renal toxicity of ethanol by decreasing lipid peroxidation and inflammation and preventing apoptosis. The next reference quote, sorry. The results of the present study show that the hydroalcoholic extract of NS, the nigella sativa, reduced the LPS-induced sickness behaviours in rats. That was from a study called The Effects of Nigella Sativa on Sickness Behaviour Induced by Lipopolysaccharide in Male Wistar Rats. This is heavy research stuff, I tell you what. It's a little bit tricky to pronounce some of these things, but I'm going to give it a red hot go anyway. Black cumin for opioid dependence. Non-opioid drug Nigella sativa is effective in long-term treatment of opioid dependence. This is a research quote. It, is, it not merely cures the opioid dependence, but also cures the infections and weakness from which majority of addicts suffer. That was from a reference paper called A New and Novel Treatment of Opioid Dependence, Nigella Sativa, 500 milligram. Next quote. As a conclusion, we would like to suggest, probably with the supplementation of N. Sativa to methadone, it will indirectly be a starting point to answer the question of opioid dependency and withdrawal. Rewiring the brain. 
The brain can be damaged by drugs, but another common way that the brain can be injured is through some sort of blunt force trauma called acquired brain injury. Depending on how bad the acquired brain injury is, sometimes there is hope to rebuild those brains too. There is much research suggesting that black cumin can play a part in regenerating brain cells. Previously, it has been thought that once certain parts of the brain were damaged, they couldn't become functional again. <clears throat> Article 13, Volume 6, Issue 1, January 2016, of the Journal of Phytomedicine, carried a research review which found that long-term administration of n sativa increases 5-HT levels in the brain and improves learning and memory in rats. That's yet another study that gives hope to brain-injured people. I also had this to say. Our literature review showed that NS and its components can be considered as promising agents in the treatment of nervous system disorders. And another quote. Based on these results, it can be concluded that <coughs> thymoquinone prevents the development of tolerance and dependence to morphine. And that was from a research paper called Attenuation of Morphine Tolerance and Dependence by Thymoquinone in Mice. If your brain is in recovery after a drug addiction or brain injury of any kind, black seed oil is a great way to get back some of those precious brain cells. And then what follows is, <clears throat> pardon me, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 references that will give you some more information if you require it. And that's the end of chapter 10. I hope you enjoyed the book reading and if you would like to download my free cheat sheet on the 23 pharmacological actions of nigella sativa oil and all the ailments that I found that it helps with, that it can help with, then please click on the link below and I'll add it later. Thank you, have a great day.